Hey, there is something that I need to talk to. It's Jen Glow. It's just been on my mind and um, I just can't knock it. It's about Haiti and what's going on in Afghanistan. I don't know, I don't know how much disaster, disasters rather, we can handle as a people. I don't know, but I am so grieved. When I watched that airplane and now I heard that they found pieces of human flesh in one of the wings from that airplane. It is so sad. It is so sad. It is so heartbreaking. God, people, I don't know if you all believe in God, but I think God is coming for his world. There's just too, too many evil, too much evil. Too much evil all over the world. The Taliban's, and I'm worried about the women because women are treated like garbage in those countries. Men don't care about women. They're sexually abused. They're abused in women and children are just their pawn. They abuse them day after day, night after night. We as women, we have to be, we, we have to pray. We must pray for Afghanistan. I don't know, Americans, Biden, I really liked you. I mean, I'm not American by no means. I live in a wonderful country and I'm quite safe here. Not 100% safe because there is nowhere that is safe. But Canada is relatively safe. I mean, we go through our her problems, we all have her problems here. And as a black woman, I experience a lot of racism, but, um, but I'm quite content and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, you know, you learn how to deal with certain things and where to put yourself from where not to put yourself. And you try to get along with everybody because I have, I'm very, very open-minded and I love people because I all think that we're one. We're all created by the same master. Huh? God created us all. We're all, we all are one. We're all one. We have more in common than our differences. That much I know. Because I have friends from all walks of life. Black, white, Indian, whatever. Asians, whatever. And I know that we're all the same because we all want the same things for ourselves and our families, you know. But I am heartbroken. I think that they could have found a better way to pull all the troops out. And I think a lot of these um, Afghanistan troops, I think that they, they help the um, Americans and Canadians and all the other um, troops that were there. They all help hmm? to keep them safe and to inform them, you know, of, of, of what's happening. I, I just can't believe it. And Haiti, look at Haiti. It's a total disaster. I can remember, um, I, I don't know, maybe about 14 years ago or 12 years ago, I can't remember. But the huge hurricane that Haiti went through. And now it's a massive earthquake. And can you imagine going through disasters in this pandemic? It's like a double whammy because, I mean, you need to protect yourself, social distancing, wear a mask, you know. Food are scarce. Prices of everything is skyrocketing. It's, it's a very tough world that we live in and it's very, very hard. And it's even going to get harder. We need to come together. We need to come together as human beings. No matter where we live, no matter where we look like, we, we just need to come together. God is still in charge of his world. This is his world. We need to pray more. 
We need to have more faith. We need to take care of each other. I am very sad and I'm very heartbroken. Can't do much, but whatever I can do to help um, the people in Haiti, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Don't have much, but whatever I have, I'm going to share it with the people in Haiti. Trust me, there are kids suffering. There's diseases that, that is going to set in. There's people that can't get medical help right now. There are no hospitals to accommodate these people. They're not living in any houses, no secure homes. It's quite, quite, quite a disaster. And I hate to ramble on, but this is so important to me, people. Please, please be understanding. Let us, let us have love in our hearts for each other. We're all one. Let us just, let us just pray and, 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 and be kind and be genuine and, and be, have a caring spirit. God is coming for his world.